Have you ever stopped to think about what your dreams really mean? They are more than just fleeting images passing through your mind while you sleep. In fact, dreams can be a powerful form of divine communication. But how does this work? How can we understand the messages that God sends us during our sleep? Imagine waking up and realizing that your dream might have been a direct message from God, guiding your decisions, revealing His will, or even warning you of imminent dangers. Is it possible that our dreams are a channel through which the divine tries to connect with us? Let's explore the fascinating world of dreams together. What might they tell us about the future? Do the images, scenarios, and sensations we experience at night have a greater purpose? God may use dreams to offer us guidance, comfort our hearts, or even prepare us for upcoming challenges. Have you ever had a dream that seemed to carry a special message? What lies behind these nocturnal experiences? The purpose of dreams might be deeper than we imagine, and understanding this could transform the way we live and make decisions. Stay with us and discover how to decode the divine messages in your dreams. Get ready to see sleep in a whole new light. What might God be trying to tell you while you sleep? Let's dive into the fascinating world of prophetic dreams, a realm where the divine reaches out to us in the stillness of the night. Have you ever woken up with the echo of a voice reverberating in your mind, as if someone had whispered secrets of the universe into your ear while you slept? What if that voice wasn't just a figment of your imagination, but the very voice of God himself? Imagine lying in the darkness, the world around you fading into quiet slumber. Then, from the silence, a voice emerges, soft, yet powerful. It calls your name, not just to get your attention, but to impart wisdom, guidance, or perhaps even a life-altering revelation. Can you picture it? The voice of God, speaking directly to you, sharing His will, His wisdom, and His boundless love. But why you? Why at that precise moment? What could this divine message mean? Consider the story of Samuel, a young boy lying in the temple, the flickering lamps casting long shadows on the ancient walls. As he drifts into sleep, a voice calls out to him, Samuel, Samuel. Confused, he runs to his mentor, thinking it was Eli who had spoken. But the voice wasn't human, it was God, calling Samuel to step into his destiny. What if that same calling is happening to you, right now, in your dreams? Or take King Solomon, a man burdened with the responsibilities of ruling a great nation. One night, he dreams, and in that dream, God's voice asks him a question that would shape the future of Israel, ask what I shall give you. Solomon, with wisdom beyond his years, asks for an understanding heart, and God grants him not only wisdom but riches and honor beyond measure. Could it be that your dreams are offering you a choice, a path, a gift waiting to be claimed? Think about it, how often do we dismiss a dream, a voice, as mere imagination? when it could be a direct line to the divine? What if the answers you've been searching for are already being whispered to you in the quiet of the night, waiting for you to listen, to act, to believe? As you reflect on these stories, ask yourself, what is God trying to tell me? When you hear that voice in your dreams, will you be ready to listen, to understand, to follow where it leads? Let's explore the mysterious and awe-inspiring world of angelic dreams, where divine messengers descend from the heavens to communicate with us in our sleep. Have you ever wondered why, in the quiet of the night, an angel might appear in your dreams? What message could they be delivering from the Creator Himself? Angels are not just figures from ancient texts, they are celestial beings, sent by God with a purpose. Imagine lying in your bed, when suddenly, in the midst of a dream, an angelic figure appears before you. Their presence is radiant, their words filled with comfort and wisdom. They come not just to soothe your fears, but to bring divine guidance, warnings of dangers unseen, or to offer instructions for the path ahead. What would you do if an angel spoke to you in your dreams? 
Consider the story of Jacob, who, in a moment of despair and uncertainty, dreams of a ladder reaching to heaven, with angels ascending and descending upon it. This vision was not just a random dream, it was a message from God, a confirmation of his covenant and a promise of protection. Jacob awoke with a renewed sense of hope and purpose, knowing that God's angels were watching over him. Or think of Joseph, who, in a series of dreams, is visited by angels who guide him through life's most critical moments. One dream instructs him to take Mary as his wife, despite the scandal it might cause, and another warns him to flee to Egypt to protect the infant Jesus from Herod's wrath. These angelic visitations were crucial, altering the course of history. When an angel appears in your dreams, it's not just a fleeting image, it's a divine encounter. Such dreams might signal that God is offering you comfort in a time of need, warning you of challenges ahead, or providing you with specific instructions for your life's journey. But why you? Why now? What could this angelic messenger be trying to tell you? Next time you dream of an angel, pause and reflect. What divine message are you being given? Could this be a moment where heaven is reaching out to earth, through you? Let's delve deeper into the powerful and transformative biblical stories where angelic dreams shape the course of history, offering divine guidance and reassurance to those who receive them. These stories are not just ancient tales, they are profound examples of how God uses dreams to communicate with His people, and they still resonate with us today. Take, for instance, the story of Jacob. He was a man on the run, fleeing from his brother Esau, with his future uncertain and his heart heavy with fear. One night, as he lay down to rest in a desolate place, he had a dream, a dream unlike any other. In this dream, he saw a ladder reaching from earth to heaven, with angels ascending and descending upon it. This wasn't just a dream, it was a divine revelation. The latter symbolized a direct connection between heaven and earth, a bridge between God and man. The angels moving up and down were messengers of God, affirming His presence and care. Through this dream, God reaffirmed His covenant with Jacob, promising to protect him and bless his descendants. Jacob awoke with a renewed sense of purpose and hope, knowing that he was not alone and that God was with him, guiding his steps. Let's explore the profound and mysterious ways in which God communicates through dreams, focusing on two distinct types, hearing a divine voice and encountering animals with symbolic meaning. Second type, dreaming of a voice. Have you ever experienced a dream where a voice, clear and powerful, speaks directly to your heart? This isn't just any voice, it's the voice of God, resonating with authority, wisdom, and love. In the stillness of the night, when the world is quiet and your mind is at rest, God may choose this moment to impart His will and wisdom to you through a dream. But what does it mean to hear God's voice in a dream? How do we recognize it, and more importantly, how do we respond? Consider the story of Samuel, a young boy serving in the temple under the priest Eli. One night, as he lay down to sleep, he heard a voice calling his name. Samuel, Samuel. At first, Samuel didn't realize it was God speaking to him. He thought it was Eli and ran to him, only to be sent back to bed. This happened three times until Eli finally understood that it was the Lord calling the boy. When Samuel responded, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening, his life was forever changed. God spoke to him revealing a message that would alter the course of Israel's history. This story teaches us the importance of recognizing and responding to God's voice, even when it comes to us in the quiet of our dreams. Then there's Solomon, the wise king of Israel. One night, in a dream, God spoke to Solomon and offered him anything he desired. Solomon could have asked for wealth, power, or long life, but instead, he asked for wisdom, a discerning heart to govern God's people. Pleased with Solomon's request, God granted him unparalleled wisdom, 
along with riches and honor beyond measure. This dream wasn't just a simple conversation, it was a pivotal moment that defined Solomon's reign and legacy. It shows us that when God speaks in our dreams, His messages are filled with purpose, offering guidance that can shape our lives in profound ways. When you hear a voice in your dreams, pause and consider, could this be God speaking to you? Is He offering you wisdom, direction, or perhaps even a challenge? To hear God's voice is a gift, but to listen and respond is where the true blessing lies. Third type, dreaming of animals. Animals and dreams can be more than just creatures of the imagination. They often carry deep symbolic meaning, reflecting aspects of our personalities, circumstances, or even divine messages. But what does it mean when these creatures appear in our dreams? Could they be conveying something important, something we need to understand? Take, for example, the dreams of Pharaoh in ancient Egypt. In his first dream, Pharaoh saw seven healthy cows emerge from the Nile, followed by seven gaunt cows that devoured the healthy ones. In his second dream, seven heads of grain, full and good, were swallowed by seven thin and scorched heads. Disturbed by these visions, Pharaoh sought the interpretation from Joseph, who revealed that the dreams were a warning from God. The seven healthy cows and grain represented seven years of abundance, while the gaunt cows and scorched grain symbolized seven years of severe famine. This dream was a divine message, providing Pharaoh with the foresight to prepare for the coming years, saving Egypt and its people from disaster. Then, there's the prophet Daniel, who had visions filled with symbolic animals. In one of his dreams, he saw four great beasts rising from the sea, each representing a kingdom that would rule the earth. These animals were not just figments of Daniel's imagination, they were symbols of future empires, revealing the course of history as determined by God. Daniel's ability to understand and interpret these visions was a testament to his close relationship with God and his gift of prophetic insight. When animals appear in your dreams, consider their behavior, characteristics, and the emotions they evoke. Are they strong, fierce, or gentle? Do they inspire fear, comfort, or awe? These details could hold the key to understanding the deeper message God may be communicating. Just as with Pharaoh and Daniel, the animals in your dreams could be symbolic, pointing to important truths about your life, your future, or the world around you. In these moments, it's crucial to seek divine guidance, asking God to reveal the meaning behind these symbolic creatures. By doing so, you open yourself to the possibility of receiving profound insights and wisdom that can guide your path and deepen your spiritual journey.